proper care and maintenance of field instrumentation is very important and um, I don't know. Uh, and then just, yeah, just start it over again. again. Proper care and maintenance of field equipment is essential for uh, obtaining high quality data. One of the things that is important in the uh, maintenance of SON is the dissolved oxygen membrane. And so this demonstration I will show you how to replace the dissolved oxygen membrane on a uh, YSI 600XL multi-probe. So first thing we do is we remove the probe cup and you'll note this, this particular instrument has a dissolved oxygen membrane already installed. I will remove it. But I want you to take a look and see the condition of those electrodes. They're very shiny. The membrane is smooth and there's no wrinkles. There's no bubbles. Uh, the membrane is very closely cut to the side of the instrument so there's no uh, waste or no uh, uh, extra membrane hanging out on the side. So I'll remove the membrane now and without going into the physics and mechanics of the operation of the sensor, essentially um, the sensor requires a electrolyte behind a, dissolve, uh, behind a Teflon membrane. The electrolyte but but you, you, did you want any uh, thing to dry it with, or you, you're fine? You can no, go. I'm, I'm fine. Okay, like go for it. Okay, now I will demonstrate how to install a dissolved oxygen membrane on a YSI 600XL dissolved oxygen probe. The probe uh, from the manufacturer is clean and dry. You can see the probe here, the two shiny electrodes, and the. What we need to do is put an electrolyte in the probe. The probe has a slight recessed area, and that area will be filled with electrolyte, and then the dissolved oxygen membrane will be installed on top of that and secured with an O-ring. So the first thing we need to do is prepare the electrolyte, which comes dry, and we simply add dissolved, uh, deionized water, mix it, and we have the, the electrolyte. The electrolyte is then put on the dissolved oxygen membrane until it forms a positive meniscus. I think you can see that. There's a tiny bubble. We don't want any bubbles in there. So you can see that, that meniscus, that positive meniscus. Okay. I will then put a little more in there. Put the inside. The membrane. The membranes come in a little book, like kind of like a matchbook. You open them up, and they have an adhesive pad right here, and that adhesive pad will catch one membrane, which you then take carefully in your hands and try not to touch the center part of the membrane. It's very thin but quite tough, and it's made out of Teflon. You then Put the membrane on the side of the probe, hold it down firmly with your thumb, and then stretch the membrane across the top of the probe, securing it with your other finger. You then, without again touching, touching the, the surface of the, of the membrane, roll an O-ring on with your fingers, like that. You then see the membrane has a lot of extra on here. You make sure that the membrane is nice and taut. There's no bubbles. There's no wrinkles. And then you can, with a, with a sharp knife, you simply cut below the surface of the O-ring very gently. You can cut around the, the membrane. and remove the membrane like that. You then want to wash off any extra electrolyte carefully. 
and we're washing here with just tap water or, 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 or deionized water, it doesn't really make any difference. And then a final inspection before we put the tap on. Okay, you can see the membrane is tight, no wrinkles, no bubbles, no excess membrane, and we're ready to put the protective cap on the instrument. Now the, the instrument is not ready to use now, even though I installed the membrane. The membrane, being flexible Teflon, um, has to kind of relax after it's installed. You saw how I stretched it. So it takes between six and eight hours to relax. So the instrument should not be used um, for at least six or eight hours until that membrane is allowed to relax. And then it can be calibrated and used in the field. Is that good?